All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my weekly Morrowind Chill stream. Today is actually the 14th of June, 2020. However, before we begin, I have an announcement to make. I already announced it to my pre-stream, but I just want everyone watching this on demand on YouTube to know as well what exactly is going on. All right. Um, I really enjoyed playing Morrowind over the last three plus months as a weekly stream where we just sit down for a couple of hours and have fun. I learned the game. And we really just have a good time together. It's more about the interaction than the progress, although there's been significant progress playing Morrowind. All right. However, sadly, I have an announcement. I'm retiring from being a live streamer forever, and therefore, this is the final Morrowind stream. That's it. This is the last stream I'm ever oh doing. Fuck. I'm sorry. No, I'm kidding. That's not true. The truth is that there's actually... Look at this weird armor I'm wearing, by the way. Holy crap, that looks crazy. I never even looked at that. Um... The truth of the matter is, this coming week, there's a bunch of new releases coming out, alright? And there haven't been a, a, a slew of new releases since, like, April. That was, like, the last time there was, like, a ton of new releases in a short period of time. And because of that, because there's so many new releases, three of them in one week, because I've got two special events planned for the end of the month that's going to take time out of my regular streaming schedule, and because we've got not one, not two, not three, four major new releases in the month of July, which is unprecedented. We never have that happen, ever. Usually this summer is completely empty for game releases, and I complain all summer, why don't game developers release games in the summer? I don't understand it. And then this year is like the polar opposite because of what happened with the pandemic and everything. Um, now we've got release after release after release, okay? So with all this being said, I'm looking at my schedule, and I'm like, man, I'm currently I'm playing Sleeping Dogs and Fire Emblem Three Houses. I got three new games coming out this week. How am I going to juggle five games and continuously do late night chill streams all week? It's not possible, all right? Now, this doesn't mean this is the end of chill streaming at all. What this means is that chill streaming goes on hiatus. This happened, uh, happens a few times a year when things get usually busy. Usually it's usually during the hardcore gaming season, which is the fall. But it just so happens we've got this weird gaming season right now where it's very, very busy with all these new releases. All right? So that being said, please don't freak out. I promise you, after tonight's stream of Morrowind, the game will continue and will resume in the future. This is a game I very much enjoyed interacting with all of you during the sessions. You guys helping me every week to tell me how to play the game and how to figure stuff out. And just look at the armor I'm wearing. Look at the abilities I have. I could lock, pick any lock. I could float in midair, heal, teleport. I got an insanely badass overpowered spear. You know, like everything is so crazy powerful in the game that I have. And I've definitely enjoyed myself playing the game. I don't want to say goodbye to Marwin. I want to keep playing it. I want it to be an ongoing chill stream for the rest of this year. Um, but right now, it's just not going to be possible. So after tonight, it's going on hiatus. It could be a week. It could be two weeks. It could be a month. I don't know. I'm going to let you guys know. If you want to know what's going on with my schedule and you only tune into my chill streams or my Morrowin streams, you can follow me on Twitter at DSP, where every night I'll post up an amended schedule. Right here on my Twitch channel, there's a new schedule thing that they built into it, and I started updating that as well. Or, on my pre-streams as well, on my pre-streams, um, every day, earlier on in the day, I update the schedule and I talk to you guys about what to expect. You can watch those pre-streams on demand on YouTube on DSP Gaming every day as well. So, there's multiple ways for you to stay in the know and know exactly when I'm going to be coming back tomorrow. And I'm actually excited to be coming back to it after not being, being able to play it for a while because I really enjoyed doing this weekly, alright? So, I apologize, but it is what it is. We will come back tomorrow when, after a bit, all right? When I feel it's appropriate. Shout out to Life's First Soul, who did a 250-bit cheer. First cheer of the night, and he says, Has anything from this game stood out to you? Seems really bland compared to Oblivion, in my opinion. Um, <clears throat> for me, what's really stood out to me about this game, honestly, is that the systems in the game are so adherent to formulas, or so adherent to mathematical calculations, right? That it seems to me like you can completely break the game. Like, <clears throat> should I seriously be able to infinitely float by casting a spell over and over and over? That doesn't seem balanced. And I don't remember, you know, you certainly can't do that in Skyrim or Oblivion, right? So, it seems like with this game, if you know exactly what to do and how to use the systems, like the bartering system. Okay, I barter for incredibly low prices, build, po make potions, sell them back for double price, and I'm making infinite money. You see what I mean? Like, that's just crazy. And to me, that's something unique that's probably never going to happen again. With modern RPGs, they don't have 
<clears throat> rule sets that can be mastered and, and, and I don't want to say abused, but basically like kind of used to your advantage. You know what I mean? Like everything is kind of more watered down and generic these days. Um, I don't know if that's because they just want it to be more accessible or whatever. But the fact that if you take time to learn the systems of this game, you can basically become godlike is pretty amazing. You can't really do that in much uh, many other games besides grinding, grinding, repetitive grinding, right? So, I definitely like that about the game. It's unique. I've never played an RPG game like this before where it's so adherent to using mathematical formulas and things like that that you can just break the game if you know exactly what you're doing. <clears throat> okay, now. Here we go. If you remember, last time around, we were able to get pieces of scrap metal out of the Dwemer ruins that we found over at Ghost Gate. It was a complete accident that we happened upon them, but we found them and we were able to trade them in to unlock the next line of the Thieves Guild questing, which we're about to read about right now, okay? Sorry, by the way, my allergies have been very annoying the past couple of days. Both my wife and I and Jasper have all been sneezing and bothering me. Right now, the post-nasal drip is really bothering me, so I'm sorry if you hear me clearing my throat or, or snorting to clear my sinuses so I don't have to sit here and choke all night. I'm apologize. I apologize in advance for that, okay? Um, Joyful Oblivion just gave me $10 to get the tipping going for tonight. Thank you very much, Joyful Oblivion, with the first tip of the night. I appreciate that. Actually, look what I did. I put the tip in the wrong spot. Hold on a second here. <laughs> This should be Joyful Oblivion with a $10 tip. Here we go. Very nice. And now let's update the total tips for the night. Thank you, guys. Getting started with the tips goal for tonight. I appreciate that. Can we keep the streak alive? Will there be a vest tonight? Well, it's happened 133 times in a row. Um, But it could end at any moment. And I'll be honest... Really, if you guys only watch the Morrowind stream, this past week, it actually, I got very close to having this streak end multiple times, so we'll see what happens tonight. Okay, guys? <clears throat> okay. So, the next mission for the Thieves' Guild. Ingoth the Jeweler told me that Andal, a Bosmer Archer, in the Lethry Manor, has four darts of judgment. I can use them myself or get a good price for them from the Guild. So they want me to steal four darts of judgment from Lethry Manor. Lethry Manor. I think that would probably in the, be in the Manor District, right? <clears throat> Alright. Someone in here is being a disgusting troll. And it's not banned. That was the quickest... Fo they were only following me for six minutes. That was pretty impressive. Six minutes before a ban. Alright, Lethry Manor. <clears throat> Let's go to the manor district. It's probably where it is. Yeah, you can shut up and get out of my way. Do I? No, you don't. You don't want to. Ass. Okay, <laughs> I don't know why I'm being a dick. Uh, Serethi. Left three manor entrance. There it is, to the left. Do I? Here we go. Alright, first thing I should do, save the game, because I don't want to screw up. Right? Okay. I'm missing a parenthesis next to the 250. Oh, thank you, Derek. You're right. There's nothing worse than someone being right when they're correcting me. Okay. <laughs> okay! So, we gotta find these arrows. What are they called again? Darts of Judgment. They're not arrows. They're darts of judgment. Um. <clears throat> so, he's a Bosmer Archer. Eindel. You would think if he's an archer, he probably is over in the troop, the barracks. Is that the guards? Yeah, maybe he's in the guards' quarters, right? You would think. Here's the guards. My marksmanship skill increased to six by reading that book. Cool, I'll never use it. Expensive shoes and pants. Generic guard. <clears throat> That's the entrance. So, it doesn't look like it's gonna be here.
Ow! A little, little, little locks here. Where's my lock pick? Nothing good. God damn it! That's why I saved. A lone light took me five dollars. What's going on, lone light? Because I'm so happy to wake up at the time I did. Otherwise, I would have missed another one of your streams. Here's a gift from yours truly, a lone light. This game looks really fun. It's definitely interesting for someone who's only played more modern RPGs uh, when it comes to Elder Scrolls. You know, I playing this one is like so different, man. So different. So trial and error too. The whole game's about trial and error. You know. Um, <clears throat> but that's a good thing. Do I know? All right, so I don't know if it's there or not. Here we got the private quarters. Actually, check this out. What was for dinner? I just said we had turkey tacos. I'm looking for Bosmer. No. Eindel. Eindel the Bosmer Archer. Can we hurry this? Can we hurry this up? Can you shut the fuck up? To annoy you. Have I been here already? Why do I get the feeling I've been here already? This looks familiar, right? I think I've actually been... I think I've actually been here. And I was looking for something else. I'm almost positive. Because that's why that, that chest was unlocked. <clears throat> right? I think so. What is it? I don't see any arrows anywhere nearby. Nor do I see this archer that they keep referencing. E Ein Eindel. Ugh. What do you want? Oh, fuck. Scary. Terrifying. What is it out there? Uh, I don't know what it is. I can't figure it out. I don't know what's going on. to go. I've already been through here and I don't see it. Yes, I've had turkey bacon. I've had different kinds. Jenny O turkey bacon is disgusting. You might as well just eat cardboard. But there's some what other brands that? of turkey bacon that are quite good. Why are you there was this place nearby that we were going to that does like, it's a brunch place so you can get breakfast or lunch. And they had this thick cut turkey bacon. That was crazy good. The best I've ever had. But now they don't have it. We've ordered out there twice, and every time they say we don't they don't have it anymore, they can't get it because of the pandemic. Oh, yeah. oh, great. Yeah, I don't know where to go to get these arrows. I have no clue. I don't see anywhere where there would be like an arsenal. They calling them Darts of Judgment. A Bosmer archer called Eindel has them in this manner, right? I can't find this guy. Eindel? There's no Eindel here. What is it out there? Hmm. Oh, it sounds like there's, a, there's another asshole troll in the stream, so now they're banned. Goodbye, asshole. <laughs> what do I usually have for dessert? Chocolate. Seriously. If I'm going to eat a dessert, chocolate. If I get candy, chocolate. If I get ice cream, chocolate. Or vanilla with fudge. 
Can we hurry this up? Chocolate fudge, of course. I don't see this archer. I want to know where the fuck this guy is. Oh, I found him! Eindel! Haha, -ha, finally! Alright. Uh. Darts of Judgment. That's the none of your business. Alright, hold on a second here. We'll see about this. We'll see about this. Amazing GT has reached his for 26 months. Says, What's up, hard Jasper and Cat tonight? Jasper is taking a nap in Cat's room over here. He's on her office chair sleeping. He usually does that when I stream at night, so he knows he can't come in because of the air conditioning. Um, once it warms up here in the state, and we need the air conditioning for the whole house, then he'll be able to come in at night because the door will be open. But we've had an unseasonably cool June this year. Usually in June, it gets really hot here. We're almost halfway through June. We haven't had a single hot day. So we're pretty good in that regard, and the air conditioner only needs to be on here in the office. So eventually when it gets hot, he'll be coming come and joining us for night streams. As for my wife, she's at work, which she's not too happy about. <laughs> she obviously doesn't want to be at work. She wants to be relaxing, but it is what it is. Um, persuasion. How about a tasty bribe? Sharing is good. I like sharing. Darts of judgment. That's none of your business. You fuckhead. If there's anything I can do, I am humbly at your service. All right, what you can do is fuck off and let me pickpocket you. Nothing. 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 Well, I took some of my gold back, so that's good. I took the gold back. So fuck your bar. I'm shit. Guard. So what's hilarious is she did 100 persuasion, but I got my gold back because I stole it right back. <laughs> so I should actually save before anything, right? Save up. Will I be playing any fun games in the future? No. I make it a habit to only play the worst games possible. That's what I do. No fun here. No fun to be had, guys. Uh, Ingolf the Jeweler. Check the rat in the pot. The manor. Reveal Tenerant. Find Clothier. Damn. She won't tell me about these arrows or darts of judgment. And I already pickpocketed her. She doesn't have them. Do I know you? So where the fuck do I get them from? Hmm. What do you want? I wonder. Can I talk to others about the darts of judgment? It doesn't look like it. See that? Hmm. Yes, there you go to jail, but you if you go to jail, the problem is they take everything on you that you haven't bought. So no lie, like they'll take everything. They'll take my spear, they'll take my boots, they'll take everything I haven't bought and fucking keep it. Thinking that's a stolen item, which is bullshit. So I can never go to jail or I'm fucked. Okay. So I don't know what to do. Why are you here? I searched around. It doesn't seem like anywhere in here in particular are these darts. The person who knows about the darts won't tell me about the darts. I haven't tried persuading, and they still won't tell me about the fucking darts. So the only thing I can think about, or the only thing I can think of, is that these darts are in one of the locked things, like a locked chest, or uh, possibly that? a locked, uh, you know, dresser. That's all I can think about. Or that's all I can think of, is what I should say. Now, I've already opened all this stuff. Remember, I already came here at the relief for something else earlier. And I opened everything that was here. And there's certainly no darts of judgment in here. Yeah, see? Unlocked. I had unlocked that previously. Money sitting on the chest there, right? <clears throat> So anyway, thank you, Amazing GT, for 26 months of support. I really appreciate that. Hound meat. Soltress? 
Darn. I thought maybe those were the darts. Now it's just Soltris, whatever the fuck that is. Okay. I'm being told sometimes when you pickpocket, the items will not show up all the time in their inventory. I know that's a problem, isn't it? Because obviously that may be the only way to get these darts. So what am I supposed to do if they just don't show up ever? Right? Hilio should have loved her. He's a... He says he hopes I've been well. He's watched my Darkstalkers one and three playthroughs, and he hopes I play Darkstalkers Darker, Darkstalkers War Mastered someday. But that is that's the remastered version of Darkstalkers one. I would consider it. I really liked Darkstalkers one. I thought it was a very good game. So it's good to see a Yoshino lover. This is a one nah. encounter. Welcome. It's creepy. She spun around like the girl from The Exorcist. My acrobatics increased to 14 and I'm stuck. Shit, here comes two guards. Dark stalk I said Dark Stalkers. I have I would say I meant Dark Siders. Yeah, Darksiders 1 was quite good. It's, I, I felt like it was a Zelda with gore. That's kind of how I felt about the game. It's like it's an adult Zelda with gore. There is someone watching me. I can tell. I wish they would make a new Darkstalkers game. That'd be insanely cool. But Capcom ain't gonna do that. Can we hurry this up? Could you get out of my way? I'm trying to pickpocket her, stupid guard. Here. We go around the corner. Can we hurry to this? Ugh. Jesse Double P one two three says, "For once, I'll be able to enjoy the Last of Us two like a sighted person. They have it all accessible for blind gamers." I heard about this. I've seen Super Blind Man tweeting about this recently, basically stating he worked with with Ubisoft to help with this game, among many other people, to make it accessible. And basically, Ubisoft did one of their best jobs ever. In making this game accessible to to gamers, that is really awesome. Because I'm sorry, but I think it's sad that because AAA games are so have so much to them. Oh, we can't make those accessible. It's too complex or whatever. Why can't they enjoy games like us, like everybody else? Why just because you have a handicap show doesn't mean that you shouldn't be able to enjoy The Last of Us too? And I'm happy that now apparently they've done and they put enough time, effort, and money into it to make it accessible. I'm happy about that. So. Good stuff. Um, Joe the Hammer to me a dollar says, "What's the deal with the cat and the air conditioner? I'm confused. Do we have to pay for a new air conditioner to see Jasper? You don't have to pay for anything." Here, all right. Do I really have to fully explain this again? I guess I will. So, ladies and gentlemen, right now in Washington State, outside it's like 60 or 70 degrees. It's it's moderate temperature. You don't even need it really a jacket or anything. It's just it's decent temperature outside. Okay, inside the house it's a nice moderate temperature. Except for this office. This office heats up intensely during this time of year. Okay? Especially during the afternoon times when the sun is outside and it beats on the front of the house. It heats up the house. And this office heats up by about 15 degrees or more to the rest of the temperature of the house. Even if I have the window open, the fan blasting, and the door open, it's still too hot. Okay? So... During this time of year, typically it starts in April, I have to turn on the air conditioner just for this room. In order to contain the cold, I have to leave the door closed. If I have the door open, there's no point in having an air conditioner. It'll just blow right out the door and the room will still be hot, okay? But that means Jasper can't come in. If I, if I close Jasper in here, he's the kind of cat that within 10 minutes, he'll be pissed off that he can't leave and he'll get stir crazy and he'll start biting wires. He'll start basically interrupting with me and not allowing me to work, okay? But if... The door is open. Jasper can come in and out as he freely wants. That's what we used to do before I needed an air conditioner. So, in what situation could I have the door open? Well, when it gets warm enough here in Washington State that we need air conditioning throughout the entire house, right? Right now, we don't. Right now, it's just this office. But when it gets hot enough that I need to turn on all the cooling in the rest of the house, then I'll open the door. The cooling will go from here into the rest of the house, and the cooling from the rest of the house as well will all be going throughout the entirety of the house. The door could stay open and then Jasper could join us at night, okay? During the daytime, the door's always closed because my voice carries in this house. And I know for a fact that if this door was open, 
you could hear me like echoing throughout the entire house every word that I say. Now, can you imagine you're my wife and you're sitting here trying to have a nice relaxing day or you're trying to do stuff during the day before you go to work and you got to hear my fucking blabbering voice all goddamn day long? Blah, 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 blah. I, I would probably put my head in the toilet and flush a few times. So, and that's me. So, uh, I, I have to keep the door closed during the daytime so it doesn't bother her. That's why Jasper never joins us during the early streams. But for late streams, he was joining us for quite a long time there whenever he so felt, saw it. But now he can't because the door's closed. Do you understand? So in short, once it gets warm enough in the, in, you know, temperature-wise here in Washington State, then we need air conditioning to cool the entire house. Then what I can, These guards are completely stuck. Then what I can do is I can open the door on the air conditioning blowing throughout the entire house and then Jasper can come in and join us. And by the way, I fully expect, if not by the end of June, it's going to get warmer here around July. And probably July, August, and September, that's going to happen. And then by the way, once I don't need the air conditioner anymore in this office, which is probably around September, October, then the door opens oh, at yes. night anyway, and Jasper will be able to join us then as well. Okay? So I hope you understand. <clears throat> Sound good? Alright. Greetings. Ah! Again! She scares the shit out of me when she does that. That is creepy shit. You gotta stop doing it. What the fuck? Seriously? stupid bitch she doesn't have it she doesn't have these darts is there a way to reset inventory like if i sleep or i go to a different day in the game will it reset her inventory so i can get these darts vg stuff charity said i'm new can you explain jasper in the air conditioning situation all right so here's the deal if I open the door, Satan will run in, the, in here and just completely correct. He'll put, put me with his pitchfork and light me on fire. So I can't open the door right now because Satan's outside. But eventually, I'm going to kick Satan out of my house. And then Jasper will be able to join us on late, late streams. Okay? <laughs> oh, wow. Super Blind Man came in and did a 500 brief cheers. You know, even though it was prompted, thanks for the shout-out about Last of Us 2. It's something I worked on for three years. I mean, directly. I'm directly responsible for many accessibility features in the game. Furthermore, it's the first ever AAA game to feature a full blind accessibility, and it's a huge honor to be largely responsible for that. That is something that you can say for the rest of your life. That is like something that you could, you, could, you know, you could wear. What do they say? You wear it, wear it on your chest or whatever. You know what I mean? Like that is something that you can be proud of. That one of the biggest AAA releases in recent memory, from what people are saying, probably going to be one of the better games of the last few years. Um, is going to be fully accessible to a whole audience because of you and your hard work, and you should be congratulated, and you should be proud of yourself, man. You should, because it's not fair that people who have disabilities can't enjoy video games like everyone else, right? Video games are not giant physical contests, you know? It's not like, oh, the Olympics, you know? It's everyone should be able to enjoy a video game. So why have this been such a giant hurdle for people who have disabilities to enjoy video games, right? I just... Finally now though, video games are now being considered a work of art, video games are now being taken seriously, and now you see major AAA studios are finally actually giving a crap. They're consulting the right people, they're getting the, the people involved, and do. now we finally got a situation where it's a AAA game that everyone can enjoy at face value at launch. That's really awesome. So congratulations to you, sir. Super Blind Man says, I'm ridiculously proud. I know a bunch of blind people that are now buying PS4s just so they can play this. That's awesome, man. That's super duper awesome. Congratulations again, man. You know, the best thing I could say is that a bunch of assholes bought Street Fighter 4 and fucked around with it because of me. But at least, you know, you got something going for you, dude. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Super Blind Man, for the 500 bit cheer. I appreciate that. Crabcock did 100 bit cheer. He said, Good evening. What did you have for dinner? We had turkey tacos. That's like the fourth time I said it on the street, but I know you just joined. We had turkey tacos tonight. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Ugh. This is very frustrating. I have a feeling ah! that I are about to become very close. All right, I think I need to go sleep. Remember there's a bed in here? So I think I need to go sleep like four days. 
Snakefish Gaming says, I have a blind cousin who loves playing driving games or airplane games because he loves the sounds of the engines, and he sits and throttles up and down the vehicles. I'm sure games from now on become accessible. He'll love that. Yeah, can you imagine? Why are you here? Can you imagine? Man, I, that's that's pretty crazy. So, can you imagine if, if these video games become so accessible that someone who can't really drive in real life because of a handicap can actually drive in a game and get that experience for the first time ever, right? That's pretty crazy, dude. That's pretty awesome. I like that. I'm not just, it just like hit me. I'm like, damn, I actually really like that. <laughs> What's going on, Dark Side Chris? He says, I'm back. Good to see you. Good to see you on the stream, Dark Side Chris. Are we still enjoying a Blue Apron meal delivery service? We do not have a Blue Apron meal delivery service. We never tried to do a meal delivery service. Yeah, we never, we never uh, bothered to try one. I'd say mostly because they're expensive. That's really why. Pooled, ground, or shredded? We just had a uh, ground turkey. Yeah, ground turkey. Lean ground turkey. For the tacos. Okay. No, I went the wrong way. That wasn't it, is it? No. Where the hell is she? Oh. I don't know how I'm gonna do this. So 24 hours passed, but I don't know if that makes her inventory reset or anything. What t-shirt is this? Uh, Feel the Bird Super Mario t-shirt. My, my wife bought this one for me a long time ago. Probably, I'd say two years ago. I've had this one for quite a while. Some loud plotting. This is a oh! She does. She scares the shit out of you when she does that. She spins and and like surprise. Like, fuck. Like I'm trying to be sneaky and pickpocket her, and she has to pull that shit. It's like she knows. Nothing. I don't know what to do. Does anyone know how to do this mission? Cause she has, she doesn't have it on her. And she won't tell me. She won't tell me anything about the darts of judgment. So without, you know, she won't tell me, even though she has maximum persuasion and she doesn't have them on her. So why the fuck am I supposed to do this mission? Oh, excuse me. I'm sorry to hear that Yoshida lover. He said he had pre-ordered last of us, but then his pre-order got canceled because of the delay. So now you might have to buy it in a later date. That sucks. Yeah, I really don't know what to do here. This is really stupid. This is one of the things that people ask me, gee, what do you think about Morrowind? It's like, there's a lot of things I like, but this is one of the things I hate. Like, why does this make no sense? There's a quest, there's no way to figure this out. Over here, a thief. There's no way to figure this out. You just need to know it. You just need to know what to do. Ugh. I just used all my water. Someone recommended going to quest lock, see if there's more info. Darts of Judgment. Angle's four darts of judgment. Their rear arrows made in a home province of Valen Wood. Angel is a guard at Lethry Manor in Allrun. If you find the darts there, feel free to use them, but the guild will pay you good money if you don't want them. And Angel just says, that's none of your business. Wait, business?
Why does business go back to this conversation about the Nerevarine cult? That doesn't make any sense at all. Talk business, see? That's stupid. Oh, did it randomly pulled the word business? It had nothing to do with it. Uh, let's go back and talk to her. What do you mean? Maybe there's a dialogue option. One of the dialogue options I'm not exploring. This is not where I wanted to be. Can I explain what's going on in the game? I'm currently trying to do a mission for the Thieves Guild. The mission is to get these darts of judgment from this archer. We found the archer. We we persuaded her by bribing her all the way up to max persuasion, which means she should be telling me anything I want. She refuses to talk about the darts. She says they're none of my business. See? So there's got to be something else. <clears throat> What if I... Background? Harling of the Great House of Redoran. House Redoran. That's if I want to join the house. I don't. There's a band of new Great House settlements. I don't care. Here's the advice. Secret. Have you heard about poor Yenus Sarandus? He lost his patrimony betting on the Guar. Sold every piece of the family silverware to pay his debts. A pity. I think he's driven him a bit mad. He wears clothes fit for a lord and hasn't got a drake for a meal. Your journal's been updated. Someone said Yenus Sarandus lost his patrimony betting on the Guar and sold every piece of his family. What does that have to do with anything? There's nothing to do with this quest. I have a feeling you and I are about to become very close. Um, let's see here. Alexander Rossi, just subscribed for seven months, says, Are you glad they don't make modern games as cryptic and difficult like this anymore? Do you wish modern games would play more like old school games from the 90s and 2000s? Oh, uh, you know. Honestly, it's weird because, like, there's positives and negatives. In a modern game, everything's usually easy. They guide you right to the quest. They do that, but everything's easy and you can't really... Everything's kind of linear. Even in an open world game, you can tell you can't really go off the rails too much. It's just what's pre-established or predetermined. In a game like this, because it's completely open and because there's so many factors involved, you could play the game ten times and do so many different builds and so many different things that it just feels like a completely different game, and that's really cool. Um, but at the same time, that same engine that's so different and has positives in that regard can lead to a negative like this. where There's just no way to figure out how the hell to do this mission. There's just not. You know? <laughs> Alright, hold on. I'm out of water. And I'm going to get very thirsty. So let me go refill my water. I'll give it like a minute. I'll be right back, okay? <clears throat> okay. Okay, water has been obtained. I had to go to the well in the backyard. I went to the well. I, you know, dipped the thermos in, and the girl from the ring jumped out and grabbed me. I was like, ah! And she did those burn marks on my arm and shit. Let's get the fuck out of here. Pissed on her face. None of that happened. I just went next door to my bathroom and filled it in the sink. Okay. So I can successfully taunt her five times. It caused her to attack you. It won't be a crime, and then maybe I can loot her and get the item as well. Okay, well, let's let's fuck around here. Alright. Okay. Is the well also the toilet? Yes. Now you know. I drink water straight from my toilet. 
I have a feeling you and I are about to become very close. I got a feeling tonight's gonna be a bad night for you. She doesn't have them. She doesn't have them. All she has is silver arrows. So apparently there's something that I, again, there's something you need to just know or figure out about this quest. She doesn't fucking have them. So that was a complete waste of time. That means you can find them in her quarters somewhere there. She has no quarters here. That's the problem. There's... There... I, uh, <clears throat> Sometimes McGee says there's a whispering eye. I don't know anything about a whispering eye. Someone says they're on the barracks bed. <laughs> they're just sitting on a bed somewhere, apparently, in the barracks. Yeah, apparently they're in the people are saying they're just hidden in the guest quarters sitting around. Oh my god. Private quarters. Guard quarters. Where are the guest quarters? Manor bet where are the guest quarters? These are manor bedrooms. Go to guard quarters. There are no guard quarters either. Private quarters. Guard quarters all the way this way. Sitting on a bed? That was the quest? They're sitting on a bed? That's the quest. Oh my god. Well, let's save again. Hello, Baldy. Good evening. How you doing? <laughs> How you doing? Alright. All right, I'm done. Wow. Where else would you keep the darts of judgment? Anywhere. A chest, your pocket. Why would you lay them out on your bed? Is that what you do? What? When you get something... When I was a kid and I got new toys, I would come home and I would lay them out on my bed, my nicely made bed, to see what they looked like. Look at their accessories, set them up, play with them a little bit initially. Before they went down to the floor where I'd bring up my other toys and I would fight them against each other. You know, action figures and stuff. I wouldn't just lay shit on the bed. <laughs> oh my god. I mean, that's a deadly weapon. Alright, for those of you who have uh, ar arms, you know, you have, like, not this kind of arms, but you know, guns or, or weapons of self-defense. Where do you keep them? Do you keep them... In a safe that's so safe and secure, so that no one else can get their hands on them, or do you store them on top of your bed? And then, oh man, I gotta go to sleep. I gotta put my gun under the, uh, uh, take it off my bed because I gotta go to sleep. <laughs> what is going on? Oh, 
By the way, that was a hypothetical. People are actually answering. You didn't actually have to answer, but I think you understand my point. No one has it sitting on top of their bay. Oh, look, my, my handgun's sitting on top of the bay. <laughs> no, it's not. It's not what you do. That's stupid. All right, here, take these darts and shut up. Give them the darts. 2,000? Wow. That's the most money he's ever given me. You've done pretty good work for me. If you've got a price on your house, see if I can take care of it. Advancement. No one questions your loyalty. You have to practice your skills more to become a bandit. I got no jobs. Try Sugar Lips. I did that. Big Helende. I did that. You talk to the master thief himself. Gentleman Jim Stacy in Vivek. He's very choosy about who he has worked for him. Really? If there is anything I can do, I am humble. Gentleman Jim Stacy in Vivek. Now that's interesting. What can I do for you, friend? Wait a minute. Their mages guild is empty. So I can't go in there and teleport. I have to go use this uh this guy. How much money do I have on me right now? A cool 5k. Holy shit. I made so much money doing these Thieves Guild missions. So I guess, you know, we could just fast travel to Valmora. And then maybe go from there, go to Vivek. Wait. Where am I right now? Aldrin. Where's Vivek? Hold on a second. This is Vivek down here, isn't it? Yes. We have to find this guy in Vivek. He could be anywhere. I wonder where the fuck he is. Where's he hiding out? Hmm. I'll probably have to go there and ask around about him. And see if anyone knows who he is or where he is in Vivek, right? <clears throat> hmm. Okay. What? How dare you? Alright. Now from here, I can probably either use this guy or be teleporting, I'm assuming. Here we go. Well, welcome back to Vivek, land of Poppin. I have no clue where to find this guy. His name is... Shit, what was his name? Fuck. It was like Gentleman Jack Septums or something? Gentleman... Gentleman Jim... Jim, uh... Jim Bean. Fuck. Anyone remember? Gentleman Jim Stacy. Wow, we know nothing about him. <laughs> nothing at all. Jim Stacy. Have I been drinking Jim Beams? No, I wish I'd been drinking Jim Beams. I'd like some whiskey. I haven't had whiskey in a million years. Hmm. Gentleman Jim Stacy. Upper Waste Works. Four and Quarter Plaza. Hmm. I need to go to the Corner Club? Oh shit, I don't know where that is. Smith, Guild of Mages, Smith, Four and Quarter, Guild of Fighters. I wonder where the Corner Club is. I have no idea. Huh.
He frequents a bookseller's place in the foreign corridor. Oh, there was a bookseller's place downstairs, if you remember. A leaflet. I've got a few minutes if you need something. I don't want your stupid leaflet. I'm gonna go back downstairs. I'm pretty sure in, the, in one of the lower areas, there's a bookstore. Because I've been there before, much, much earlier in the game, if you remember. So maybe they're hanging out at the bookstore. Ah, a visitor. What may I do for you? Where all these doors go? To the regular foreign corridor. Huh. Let's see. I just went outside. I didn't help. It's probably in the lower waste works. Well, we got the Shulk Corner Club. And there's the bookstore. So, we got a couple places we can check out. Rare books. Here we go. <clears throat> you have our attention. Why is it? Zero. He's not here. This is the guy who helped me much earlier in the game. Well, I helped him. So he's not here. Maybe he's in the corner club. Because if you remember... Thieves Guild is almost always stationed in the corner clubs, right? The corner club is on the other side, yes. I suppose I Street Fighter like Fan just to me fifteen dollars. Thank you very much to Street Fighter Fan. You are the biggest tipper of the night. I appreciate that very much. That actually jumps us up a bit here. Is there something I can do for you? You know, it's funny, out of all the chill stream or I, I should say chill, because Street Fighter really isn't chill when I play it. Out of the late night streams. Morrowind, Animal Crossing, and Minecraft are going to go on hiatus, but I am going to continue to play Street Fighter at least once a week because I like it. I like playing it once a week. The last few sessions, I've actually started playing with other characters. Like I just played with Oro in Third Strike, which was really fun, and, and Gen in Alpha 3. And I'm actually having a lot of fun with this, um, with the variety, even though the connections suck. So I'm going to keep playing Street Fighter. Okay. I already went to the bookseller's place and he's not there. What do you think of our city, Alexander? Do you need something? They all say the same thing, but I went there and he's not there. Weird. The Maniac Cop 81 cheers says, Are you going to celebrate Juneteenth on Friday? What? What does that even mean? What's Juneteenth? Does anyone know what that is? Juneteenth on Friday? Friday would be... Friday would be the 19th. I don't know what that is. Does anyone know? Is that something real? He used to make this up. I never heard of it before. Juneteenth. <clears throat> it's when slavery ended. Is that true? The, the anniversary yes. of the abolishment of slavery? I know it's the anniversary of the Tulsa, Oklahoma race riots of the 1920s. Some people are saying. How about this? I don't know anything about it. I'm not touching it with a 10 foot pole. Maybe, wait a minute. Maybe he's in here. Oh shit. Okay, let's see. Maybe he's in this locked door. Maybe he's hiding out in the back. Right? 
Wait, what happened? Did I just load instead of save? I think I just loaded instead of save. Oh my god. I think I just loaded instead of save. Yup. I meant to save and I loaded. I don't know what's loaded and what's not. Oh, my, I'm back here. You gotta be kidding me. Oh my god. Yeah, thir I just lost 13 minutes of gameplay. I did. I lost 13 minutes of gameplay. Because I loaded instead of saved. I don't think I lost that much. As long as I have the darts, I should be alright. Fucking piece of shit. Oh my god. So I just gotta grab these. I gotta go all the way back. Right? I gotta trade them in again. I gotta go... To, and then I gotta fucking come back to here to Vivek. And go back to the fucking club and try to figure this shit out. I can't believe that I fucking... I'm gonna fucking smash my controller. Rip my controller in half! The Incredible Hulk. Ah! This sucks. This fucking sucks. No, I did not hear that Google Stadia are, 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 are Google Stadia accidentally released an unfinished version of Ubisoft's Gods and Monsters. No, I did not hear that. <laughs> How nice of them. Bug snacks? <laughs> Why are we talking about bug snacks all of a sudden? I don't understand how I did it before. Now they won't let me do it. This seriously sucks. I, li I, li I lost 13 minutes of gameplay. And now, I can't redo what I did. I'm upset. Get out of my way. I need to steal this shit. This would not have happened if I were playing bug, bug snacks. I mean, that's pretty true. This would have never happened. Uh, I already got these. This is so stupid. Don't finished. 
Oh, oh, fuck you, you piece of fucking shit. Suck it. You're not even looking at me, you stupid bitch. How the fuck did you see me? Do you have 14 eyes in the back of your head? Or maybe on your ass? Fuck you. Now I'm not going to get this done. I'm seriously not going to get this done tonight now. Fuck this. Fuck this. Why am I going to the bedrooms? Why are Do I? Oh. All right. Gentlemen, Jim, Stacy, and Vivek. Is this something? Oh, all right. Fuck. What a pain in my ass. <laughs> 